Go, 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 dragon, it's your birthday. What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five bearded dragon types. These are bearded dragons that you may currently already have, or you might come across when purchasing a new bearded dragons. You probably often hear that bearded dragons all have different personalities. So today I wanted to highlight five personality types that your bearded dragon currently probably has. Now, if your bearded dragon has all five, let me know in the comment section down below because there is that possibility your bearded dragon is all five of these. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So the very first type of bearded dragon is the docile type. Now this bearded dragon you hear rumors and stories about these types of bearded dragons. Oftentimes there's articles written about them that bearded dragons are the best, most docile, most tamed lizard out there on the planet. Now, most of the times bearded dragons are like this. And don't get me wrong, you could work with many different types of bearded dragons and get them to be docile and tamed. These bearded dragons are always just super tame, super docile. You could go inside of their enclosure, pet them, feed them with no problem, carrying them on your shoulder, cuddle with them, sleep with them, and they will not panic or show you any type of attitude. This right here is probably the perfect bearded dragon. So if you have a bearded dragon like this, you are one of the lucky ones. Now the not so lucky ones out there have the angry bearded dragon. Now, even though angry bearded dragons, they can still be pretty cute. If you don't know how to properly handle them, they will give you a run for your money. These bearded dragons, for whatever reason, they either were born angry or they went through some sort of traumatic thing in their life and you rescue them and now you're dealing with all of that built up anger. But bearded dragons like this have their moments. They might from time to time be calm and docile and you could actually interact with them, but something will trigger them to just get into that fight and flight response and just attack you like crazy. So if you are experiencing a bearded dragon like this, I feel for you. I have a bearded dragon that's like this that Oh man, blue just gives me a run for my money every single time that I interact with this bearded dragon. Now the third type of bearded dragon is the crazy type. Now there's a difference between angry and just pure crazy. The crazy type has no sensor. This bearded dragon, if it could talk, it will swear at you, it will cuss you out, like has zero sensor whatsoever. Oftentimes you would see the crazy type of bearded dragon just be chill inside of their enclosure and out of nowhere they would just jump out, try to come out, try to run around and they don't show any aggression, they're just crazy. They just run around like they're madmen. These bearded dragons are also the ones that would display head bobbing. Go, 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 go dragon, it's your birthday. Uh, maybe even breeding socks and just things around in your room like I don't understand why bearded dragons could be crazy like this Now even though your very first thing that you want to do when you see a crazy bearded dragon is possibly take them to therapy You you can't do that. You there's no bearded dragon therapy. Maybe maybe one day I could become a bearded dragon therapist I don't know. I don't even know if there's a market out for that But bearded dragons that are just crazy like this what you kind of have to do is just allow them to have their moment, allow them to run around. Eventually they will tire out and that's when you could possibly try to bond with them a little bit more so they get more used to you. The reason why they're running around like that is probably just because they have all of this energy. So it's very important that you do take your bearded dragon out and interact with them. Um, that way they could express that energy and not just burst it all at once. Now the fourth type of bearded dragon is the lazy type. Now the lazy type is a little bit different to the docile one because the docile one, even though most of the times it's just chill and relax, the lazy type doesn't want to move at all. Even if you present it with the most delicious possible meal that you could give a bearded dragon, they will just ignore it. And most of the times a lazy bearded dragon wants to sleep on one section of the enclosure. Now the lazy type is very similar to the docile type. Most of the times you could go in there, pet it, take it out, put it on your shoulder, but 
no matter what you do, it is not going to move. It's just gonna wanna sleep. Most of the times you get a bearded dragon that's much older, being more of the lazy type, just because they're a little bit older, but sometimes a bearded dragon that's a little bit more chunky will also be the lazy type. So if you do have a lazy bearded dragon, just make sure you are checking their diet and making sure that you're not overfeeding them, making them just a little bit too chunky and getting them to be lazy. Now the fifth and final type of bearded dragon out there is the small bladder bearded dragon. Now you might be like, what? Small bladder, what does that even mean? A bearded dragon with a small bladder will poop just about anywhere. Doesn't matter if it just pooped. This bearded dragon has all of the energy in the world and for whatever reason, every time you take them out of their enclosure, they poop on you. You give them salad, they poop on you. You are in the shower minding your own business, your bearded dragon comes in there and poops in it. Like, no matter what you do, your bearded dragon just decides that wants to just poop. Now if you have a bearded dragon like that, I feel for you because that type of bearded dragon, for whatever reason, it's a machine gun full of poop. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to see what type of bearded dragon you have. Maybe you have one of the five, maybe you have three of the five, or maybe your bearded dragon's all of the five. If they are, let me know in the comment section down below. And maybe I missed a type and I could do a part two of this video. Also, let me know in the comment section down below because at the end of the day, bearded dragons, they all have different personalities and you always hear that, but bearded dragons definitely are a type sometimes and you will get an angry bearded dragon and a small bladder bearded dragon combination and that's just the worst. Imagine an angry bearded dragon full of poop just chasing you. That... <laughs> That would be pretty scary. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna be making more videos like this, so subscribe if you haven't. But with that being said, I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here we go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit, hit.